All right, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this, man. This is Monkey Walker, a.k.a. Severe, a.k.a. Severely yours, man. I'm here with two legends, two future legends, man. Falcon Not Law and Daniel Sun, man. This is the THHC Podcast, episode 147. We're going to talk about their project. You know what I'm saying? They, they just put together, man, and you got to tap into it, man. If you're not, you know what I'm saying, you're, you're, you're wasting, you know, you're wasting hip-hop's time, man. Um, let's talk about it real quick. Falcon, why don't you introduce yourself real quick? Yo, 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 yo. I'm from the north side. Born and bred in Toronto, you don't know. Been doing my thing for a couple of years. The Falcon outlaw. You don't know what the thing is. Just Google the thing and you're going to be like, okay, that man's there. You don't know. Bop, bop. <laughs> ba bang Yo. Ba -bang. Um, <laughs> what's up, Daniel? Introduce yourself a little bit, man. Yo. Daniel Sun, brown bag money, poor side shit, man. You already know. Brampton, oh, Toronto, 416 shit, man. North side shit, baby. You know the motherfucking vibes. If y'all ain't tapped into these uh, MCs, man, y'all y'all, playing yourself, man, in the hip-hop community, man. We're going to stop breaking down the album right away, man. This is a special show, man. And uh, we're going to get right into it. So Falcon Outlaw, Daniel Sun, The Zoo Keepers, man. Came out April 21st. 2023 is about 44 minutes and 38 seconds, maybe 45 minutes of fire. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna introduce it and then we're gonna go, we're gonna flow right off it. So, number one is the hardest produced by is it Judex? I don't want to get the producer's name wrong. Yeah, Judex. Okay, so producer Judex. Now, listen, man, rappers' energy and chemistry shows from the first record, man. They're cooking hard bars, the light and soft instrumental repels against the back and forth flow. That's harder than concrete, man. Love when artists feed off each other, and you guys do it exceptionally well. Uh, Falcon, I want you explain uh, number one hardest, man, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Then Daniel will second. This this was um this was actually the first record me and Daniel did when we were like, yo, let's deal with a thing, you know. So yeah. this is the oldest joint on the. Record, if I'm not mistaken, you get me. So shout out to shout out to Smoke Shop. Yeah, yeah, we were in we were in the Smoke Shop doing this record, and um, yeah, that's how it went, and it came out hard, right? And we're like, yeah, man, a them vibes, yeah, you know. No, 100%. and you know, the back and forth thing. So we we're really like in the in the vibe of like yo know, doing a doing a kind of project together so that's why you got the back and forth vibe on it you get me yeah like yeah, we yeah. were just in a booth you know Danny, what you remember from this uh this joint i think i think the first i think the first first me and him did was like a freestyle i think back and forth we just ran it oh yeah that's natural to y'all. Sound like y'all been rapping for for years together, man. And didn't y'all recently meet within a couple of years, or, or has, has it been has it been longer? Nah, man. Nah, I always old school. I always knew about Falcon, man. He's a legend. He's a legend where we're from. So I always knew about him. We've been linked for a minute now, but it's like I think he froze up. Did you freeze up, D? I've been there. You go. Cooked on like a you know cooked with like a. With a purpose, you know? Yeah. My dog. No, nah, 100%, man. The, the track started off. It's called Hardest. It started off hard, man. Made the album interesting, man. Like, a, a lot of MCs, man, and rappers, I tell them, man, sometimes it's that first track they're going to get the, the, the interest of uh, a person to listen to the whole entire album because a lot of people got short attention spans nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 All right. So, oh, of course, I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna he he join us right back. You know what I'm saying? Hold um, on. I'm a... What's up, Falcon? Falcon, you were saying something? Oh, I think he froze too. Oh no! Come on, man. Ah, did he freeze? Let me get Daniel back in here. See what's going on. Daniel's coming back in. I'm, I'm going to put my shit on airplane mode. All uh, right. I think I think Falcon got to do the same thing. Falcon, you froze up, man. I don't know if this phone rang, too, at the same time or something. Well, while he's getting his uh phone ready, 
Let's talk about let's, let's let me get let me give you a, a quick question, man. While he's um getting some stuff ready, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah. have you ever you know? I, I think you I I know I can answer for you. I know you've been to the U.S. before. You've been to Boston. You've been to New York. Let me know uh uh some places you've been in in the states, United States that that you that you um that you miss or you, that you have uh, good memories of, Daniel. Say that again. Oh, Daniel, I can't hear you. Oh, hold on. Now I can't hear Daniel. Hold on. What happened now? Daniel, I can't hear you. Okay. Now I can hear. Now you back. You was froze for a little bit, um, Falcon. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good now. Now what happened? Oh no! Come on, man. Let me pause this. Let me pause. I didn't like a pause. I'm gonna pause it. Uh, we back, man. We had a little technical difficulties, man. Um, yeah, Daniel, I was asking you about the um, this, you got a phone call from the next producer, Future Wave. That's the funny thing, you know what I'm saying? We about to talk about his next track, so let's get into it, man. Uh, shout out to two, Future Wave. Yeah, shout out to Future Wave. Number two, Heineken, man, it's produced by Future Wave, man. I talk about this, man. I talk about your. I give you a little clip on this one, man. You say Shorty shooting up in a her foot. We call her shell toes. That was dope, Daniel, man. Um, <laughs> Track, track leaks of uh, crime <laughs> in the line. You know what I'm saying? Uh, artists, artists match the you know the vibe with the hellish bars, man. Song allows you to hear each rapper's cadence and rap style, man. The bass is hitting hard on this joint, man. Uh, Falcon, talk about it. Number two, Heineken, produced by Future Wave, man. And we just we just talked about him. We just got the call. Yeah. Um, it that, this is like one uh, Future Wave, like really hard, dark hitting beats, you know. Yeah. So it set it, it was it was good to put it where we put it because it's still setting the tone for the project, you know, keeping everybody engaged, right? And Daniel came right out the gate, oh. just spitting fire like right out the gate, you know, to hold <laughs> up. <on. laughs> so that 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 joint's like super, super heavy. And that's like one of everybody's favorite joints, right? Oh I yeah. I think a couple people, a couple people hit us up and was like they wanted us to shoot a video for it too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, I got a couple that. videos for for some of these, right? Y'all got at least two, right, for this album, right? We got three. 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 Uh, Y'all yeah. did one for Extendos Part Two. Y'all did one for One Bar. What was that? The that's video? my favorite song on the tape, Extendos Part Two. Who was that? The oh, video yeah. that I missed. Shout out to my man Finn. That's yeah. the Finn did the videos. Yeah, shout out to Finn. We did uh, a. Pro we did a cross beat. The first song is two, two. Oh, two on one. Two that's songs right. One. Two that's right. That's right. That's right. That's, yeah. that's why. That's why. Range uh, Rover, Lester Diamond. That's right. That's right. My bad. Yeah, there you go. I'm at the right. And Daniel, Daniel got some footage in his camera that we haven't used yet. We yeah. might spin the block. We might spin the block then drop another video, you know? Might have to, man. Might have yeah, to. But yeah. Now, uh, Dan, you remember anything about the track Heineken or you want to move on? Yo, shout out to my brother Future Wave, the illest producer in the fucking game right now. Fire, dog. Fire. The illest. The illest. Number one producer in the game, man. Shout out to my brother Future Wave, killing shit. Make sure you pay attention. My brother's about to drop some serious heat just now. Oh, snap. Got yeah, Future Wave got two in the tuck ready to drop already, baby. Let's go. Exclusive. 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 You know what I'm The summer number three, Tutelage of Palm May. Uh, I May. Produced by Judex, man. You remember Pi May? Remember Pi May from Kill Bill? Yeah, with the, with the, with the, and he go like this, with the beard. Hell oh, yeah, man. hell yeah. But he's from before Kill Bill, too. Before he's from, Kill uh, Bill. Oh, man. Yeah, but like, from, the, uh, I watch karate flicks. What was your favorite karate flick while we were on the subject? Pi May. Pi May, you can find them before. White Lotus Clan. Hollywood. Before oh. Hollywood. He was at, he was in a movie called um, Fist of the White Lotus. Yeah. Fist of the White Lotus. Yeah. Because the you the guy who played his rival was Gordon Lau, and it so happened years later, Gordon Lau ended up playing Priest Pai Mei yep. in the new time, you know? So watch, for anybody who wants to, like, find the behind the scenes of the third song on the album, go watch Fist of White Lotus, you know? Dan Daniel was heavy on the Kung Fu shit, because when you hear the beat, it sounds like that, that old retro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, got that futuristic, like uh, old school type of you know vibe of the Asian yeah. Asian flicks, whatever you want to call them, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let me, let, I say on this track, I say, uh, you know, I took a little little clip it from you, man, a little clip. Uh, if I was, and you say, uh, work work rap on the table like Munra, nigga. I was like, come on, man, he's going, he's doing, using Munra bars, baby. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, <laughs> that's fire, that's, a, that's a bar straight from the No Face Crew, man. That's a no face crew type of bar, you know. It's a no face, Shout out yeah, to the no face crew. Shout out to the no face crew, man. Yeah, so yeah. I say, oh, this track, man, has a futuristic, uh, kind of, you know, uh, you know, Asian cowboy type track, like you know what I'm saying, yeah. like West was one type <laughs> track with Falcon opening the song with quotable bars. Daniel Sun's hooks are fire, along with the way he shut down the track, man. Let's talk about it, man. Falcon all uh, number uh number three, man. Quan May on this joint. So yeah, you know, this is like this, this, this one kind of symbols like how me and Daniel, why you see us on the cover. This yeah, song covers flex, like the cover. You can see us in a dojo. You know what I mean? The covers fire. That covers yeah. who's the artist? I, I, Daniel, what do you think? Shout out my man Jordan Daniel's son. Yeah. From Thunder Bay, Ontario, real Canadian. Legendary artist, graphic designer. Shout out to my man. His last name is my is my name, Daniel Sun. Ah, and the tutelage of primate is the chapter in Kill Bill, so we got the inspiration from that. And like, uh, you know, Falcon is like the Jamaican primate. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody, Whoops. you can have this. You can't. You know, you try to hit him with the sword, he jumps up and stands on the sword. You know, <laughs> bun up, bun up, bun up, bun up. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now nah, I love that man. Now, now you got me picturing it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big dread dude. You know what I'm saying? On the on the on a you know what I'm saying? Balance himself. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't fuck <laughs> yeah. around, man. Doing hey, the claw. Hey. Doing the claw on these niggas like the Falcon Claw. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen. I be talk. I talk. I talk that weapon shit. But please believe, man. I got some kung fu, man. Oh, you got the hands too. Oh shit! All right, all right, all right. I, I believe dog. you. Man. I believe you. I believe you, man. <laughs> Hey, I might chop you in your neck. Leave me alone. That, that song comes from all the days I had to eat my rice on the floor with the dogs. Right? <laughs> your legs crossed, man, on a pillow or something. Let's say it's Asian style. So, right? in, in, in all in all, that joint, it really reflects, like, the cover of the album, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The album. A, like, if, you, if you look at the, if you stare at the cover and listen to that song, it, it makes sense. It transcends, right? You get me? No, hey, you look at the cover and you listen to the song, we start moving. The cover starts to move. Oh, oh man. shit. It oh, shit. So probably the... do, especially if you, you want some good chronic. <laughs> In reverse. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. I it's didn't not... think you was going to tell him. I didn't think you was going to tell him. I didn't think you was going to tell him. That's a secret. Only for my man, uh, only for my man, the THHC. Podcast. Okay, appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot, man. I mean, Great exclusives. Exclusives. You got to drop them, baby. Let's talk about number four, man. Decepticons, man. Produced by Judex, man. This is, man, stop playing another joint. Loving the hooks, man. There's so many quarterbulls on this album, and it's just, <coughs> they're just fun to repeat, man. This track should be on the Transformers soundtrack, man. With, right? the, with this evil hey. energy, instrumental, and how the duel tackle and transform their lyrics, man. But bang. Let's talk about. Let's talk about bear it. Bear fire, man. bear fire, bear shot, shot, pop, 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 pop. pop. <laughs> right? Let's talk right? about this song, man. Number four, the Septicons. It's time to get the money. You better Aye. have the money. You <laughs> better have it all. Well, you know, it's basically like you could tell by how you leave and listen to the song, the way how the beat, the way how the, the bass is even played. It's like a roll on, like it's like a, almost a crime scene happening. The way me and Daniel jump on the joint, it's like we're Decepticons. We're, we're on some crime spree thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. And you know the Decepticons, they, was, they were always up to trying to up on some bullshit, you know? Hell up yeah. To the fuck radar. Let's see Star Screen. <laughs> yeah, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> so that's, that, that, that's how... That's how that one came about. And um, shout out to Judex again because he got a couple of joints on this album. No, he do. Um, Judex is fine. Judex is fine. Yeah, me, um, when me and Daniel got in the studio, I opened up a folder from Judex and we just ended up picking a whole bunch and everything, we did, Judex, on, everything we did on it stuck. You get me? 
No, nah, 100%. Got that, that heat. Shout yeah. out to my man, Jay Banks. Yep. Yep. He uh, told the Decepticons to roll out, so we rolled out. High uh, heat. High yeah, uh, uh, heat, baby. That's high uh, heat, man. Let's talk about number five, man. Y'all chefs in the kitchen, man. Chef work, man. This is produced by Raz Fresco, man. Um, They're in the kitchen again, getting their bacon on. The piano and jazzy track provides a smooth background as the rappers put their chef hats on and get to work in the booth, man. Rappers' transitions are flawless, like they've been rapping with each other for years, man. Let's talk about number five, chef work. Who got something on that? Yo, shout out to my man Raz Fresco in Europe, killing shit right now. That's my brother. That's my motherfucking neighbor. And that's one of the illest cats in the game, period, okay. for a long time. Ever be Way before you ever heard of a Daniel son, Raz Fresco was already killing shit out here. Toronto legend. Oh, okay. That's what's up. He made the beat. Salute. He made the beat, and it was like some jazzy, Thelonious Monk type shit. And... It just inspired me to just give you a motivational speech on it. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. when Daniel went on it, the way how the beat was going, we were like, yo, it's one of those joints, yo, we don't need to sit down and like, hey, let's try and figure out a concept or where, what do we need to fit into the album or what song is missing. This joint was like, the beat just had it like, yo, just go in the booth and, and, and rip. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Sometimes you just gotta rap, man. That's it. Sometimes you just gotta yeah. rap and do it well. That's it, man. I mean, that's what rap's about, man. You know? What yeah, Raz Fresco wrote. Raz Fresco wrote my entire verse for me too. So he made the beat <laughs> and he wrote my verse. <laughs> yeah, right. He, he, the beat, you know, the beat man? just, the beat we'll just talked rumors, to me. Let's we'll start spreading rumors, man. <laughs> the beat just talked to me. It just told me what to write. You want? You, you want to hear the secret? The yeah, secret yeah. behind that. I wrote the verse and gave it to Raz, and Raz pretended to write the verse and gave it to Daniel. <laughs> now y'all bugging, man. There's the intricate, rumors, man. There's the intricate rumors, weave. Man. Yo, what y'all smoking on, man? What y'all top three um, weed strands, man? What y'all smoking on right now? What's going Mart on? Mark Water, baby, and Belmont cigarettes. Belmont Horrible. cigarettes, okay. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Horrible, I'm just wondering, man. Y'all bugging. I love it. I, don't, I, don't, I just stopped smoking weed. Oh, you did? That's what's up. That's what's up. I just I, started. Yes, I just started back yesterday. <laughs> I'm about to go I, grab some. I'm about to go grab some weed after this. Actually, this day we man. Daniel, I can't believe you just promoted Belmont. I'm dying, man. I'm dying. Hey, man. Promote it, man. Promote whatever fuck, you want on this man. joint, man. Let's that's my man on the cover. That's the homie right there. Oh, oh, it. Yeah, that's my man. Do they, do they do that on a pack of cigarettes in America? Nah, they don't got like people on it, man. It's just like, I, I, yeah, I, throw, I, throw I, it again, Daniel. Daniel, huh? throw it again, throw it again. They got somebody dying from cigarettes. That's what. Nah, the not, nah, they don't do that. Eh? They don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's my man, Raymond. Shout out to Ray. Maybe less. Everybody people loves smoke. Ray. Maybe less people would smoke in America if they did that, man. Let's go. Let's move oh, on. Yo, shout out to Newports, it. baby. I need that good mentholated. Oh cigarette. man, you don't want no. Stay with Newports, man. Come on, man. You got. You got to stop, man. Hold let's on, stop. hold on. Let's, let's get back into the album, man. So basically, hold I, on before, one second. I got something for you. Yeah, yeah. Before we talk about number six, right? I love the album. I love your background with all the um. You got the Finn album right there. Then you some with the big hooters in the back. That's that's the album we okay. did with Finn. I already know. So basically, you guys use various producers, and you know sometimes. That's how you know I be in the states, baby. I got that good pat on me, baby. I didn't know you be in the states. You be like in the Bean and in New York a lot, so that's what's up. Um, Ooh, so God. you guys use a lot of producers, man, and sometimes that's a risk, man. And I love that you guys pulled it off. The arrangement of the tracks, you know, everything is solid about the album. So let's get into number six. So thank you, Stephanie. thank you. Now this is produced by Finn. This is one of my favorite producers. And I was just checking out the album he did with you, Daniel, son, with the Hooters in the back. You know what I'm saying? Um, so separately, Finn, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So loving the international track, Falcon puts on a, uh, a bang show, Daniel's son comes through traveling and stamping the, the uh, passport and the track, man. Yeah. yeah I don't even want to see my passport. I spent three nights in a Spanish whorehouse. I got my passport <laughs> stamped by Spanish women's feet. 
This nigga always dropping bars, even when he's talking on an interview. <laughs> no, I do it. I, I had a shorty from Rio stamp my passport with the sole of her feet. You got to save those bars for the next album, fam. I'm loving it, man. For some Brad, reason, Fresco, I don't know why. Fresco wrote that one for me, too. For some reason, I don't know why they only giving us, they, they didn't give us the 40 minutes, man. They telling me I got like ten, like nine minutes. I don't know why, but let's. Let's Yo, see. you got the bootleg version, fam. I don't, I don't have know no, what happened uh... to 40 minutes, man. Now, what the hell they tested? Are they, unless when I came on to just come on, I didn't press record. They count on that. They can't do that. I've um, never but... had a time limit on Zoom what? before. Shout out, shout out to Fit and Go era on that joint. That joint sold separately, you know? Me yeah. and Daniel did a thing on that. It was kind of like almost a vibe of being back in um the Gold Era studio. That was the sound that was pumping out of there, you know. So yeah. it was it was a good like almost throwback for me and Daniel Nostalgia. to be one of Finn's beats, you know, because that was kind of like a part of the sound coming up when we were doing our thing out here, you know. No, shout out to Finn, man. Shout out to my brother yeah. Finn. He shot all the videos. Yeah. Finn be killing shit. He just dropped some shit with Lord Juco. Me and Finn got one in the stash. Yeah. Shout out to my man Finn, killing shit, bro. Gold era. Hell yep. yeah. Shout out to Finn, though. Finn's a yeah. beef, man. Number that, seven, the rest so that, of the uh, produced by Really Him. Track is fire, man. The piano-driven track rings right with artists. Sound and team-oriented on the chorus while separately rocking the boot. Both of y'all, man. I That's got another fun. secret for you. I made that beat because I am Really Him, son. I really am him. You got an uh, AKA uh, as a producer or you joking uh, around, man? Because I don't know your No, nah, I'm really him. I'm really that guy. I'm really him. <laughs> I, I know I you're really him, but are you really him? <laughs> really him, bro. He's going to want to fight you, man. He's going to fight. He's going to be like, man, just by taking all of my shine, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out, nah, shout, shout out to really him, though. Shout out to really him. I am really him as well, but shout out to really him, though. That he, he did his thing with that beat, though. Yeah, nah, enough with that, man. Um, I hit him up. Told him what me and Daniel was doing. He sent over a thing right away. Bing bang, you know? Yeah. Shout out to him, man. Like, you could tell how that joint came out, you know? That that, that just sound, that's like one of the most street records we have on, on the, the tape, you know? Yeah, 100%. Nah, 100%. It's hard hard to really hard hard enough respect. Joint. Enough respect. Hard, hard joint. Let's yeah. go to Extended yeah. Park, too. Y'all got the video, man. This is Judex, man. The track extends the flute. While Mr. Outlaw speaks on firing his instruments for ba bang, and Nanyu speaks on his present and future status in the game, man. Let's talk about number eight, Extendo 2 with the video. That's dope. It's fire, fire track. My favorite song of all time is Extendo's Part One by Falcon Outlaw himself. I love that song. But Part Two is also a good song. The beat is amazing. The beat is one of the oldest beats I've ever heard in my life, to be honest. Yeah. I cry every time I hear that beat. <laughs> it's new. I cry. I love it, I love it man. Love it. Yeah, that ex, it, it's a it's like an ongoing. You see how Extendo Two came about with me. This is me interjecting it into the album with me and Daniel. Yeah. It's more vibe of like it's gonna. This Extendo is an ongoing thing. It's a never ending drum. You, the you know Extendo what I'm never done. Extendo, yeah. yeah. So it's, I get it. So, like so it's never gonna end. Why are you so look Look out for Extendo Part Three. That's all I gotta say. Oh snap! Extendo One's on on one never, of your albums, right, Falcon? Extendo huh? One is Extendo One. The original is on one of your albums, right? No. It's which where's Extendo One at? It was a Lucy. Oh, it was YouTube, a Lucy, baby. Oh, single, single, okay. Yeah, this is before I dropped the. I dropped that before first EP, right? The Monk. I think I dropped that before the Monk album. I think. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's been up, been up for a while though. Yeah. Classic, Look up for straight, Street, straight fucking classic. I love that fucking song. Let's talk about number nine. Still imaginary. Uh, DJ Witch Doctor man, loving the use of the woodwind family on instruments on this track, yeah. man. The softer backgrounds gives the artist uh room to be the yin and yang to the beats, man. So you like if it's a nice beat, seems like y'all can go just as hard. And be the yin to the yang of the beat, man. Talk about them. Shout out to Falcon. Falcon had the whole concept for this one. Yeah. Okay. If, you, if, if, if you're stupid, then you wouldn't know that it's just like a homage throwback to Jay-Z's imaginary player. You know? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's basically what this whole joint is. Listen to it again. Everybody listen to it again. And then you're going to be like, okay, okay. You know, because the, the, the hook is like taking words from what he said in the song. That's how we made the hook, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's that that joint is a is a is a throwback to imaginary players, Jay Z joint. You know, this is okay. our uptown Toronto version. You know, nah, it's dope, man. Why not? Rock circle beat it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody number ten, the a Warriors Dream, Sibs Rock Man producer. Again, another pure and beautiful instrumental. It's a combination of good dreams work with nightmare street tales, man. The formula is just working with Daniel Sun and, and Falcon, man. Talk about what the Warriors Dream with Sibs rock yeah that's um an old um throwback to a toronto group in here you know yeah don't wash your face in my sink you can tell them about that daniel yeah i you love know? it shout out to sips he's produced some interesting songs lately yeah shout out to shout out to all these producers man let's go to number 11 fresh featuring slang hugh bass hitting like Ike Tina and Joe Jackson, man. Track has uh, the bass that shakes the vehicle, knocking off the fresh paint job, man. Rappers continue to sound great together, adding quality music to uh, the hip hop genre, man. Let's talk about fresh. Yeah. I love you. Shout out to Slang Hill. See Slang Hill getting that work on the pull up bar. I see you, Slang. Yeah. And yo, know, we couldn't do one good era on the album, and there's three of them. So we had to get Finn, Sibs, which is the last song, and yeah. this one. Black Hughes, you know, so this is like the trilogy of of um gold era on the album, you know. So okay. we got all the gold era producers, which is Sibs, Finn, and Slang Hughes on the tape, you know. And this is the joint with Slang Hughes. Which is probably appreciated, you know what I'm saying? Are they all from Canada? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. They're in the same camp. The same camp, the same producer camp, gold era. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. That's what's up. Keep it in the fam, you know what I'm saying? Get that money yeah. in the bag, man. Yeah. Number yeah. 12 is Range Rovers with Joe Mills, man. Uh, if you see Shout out to my motherfucker brother Joe Mills from Montreal, son. Salam alaikum, <laughs> my brother. So if you see this dude in, in any vehicle and you got beef, you better run, man. The Indian-like track is spicy as the artists match and elevate the that heat, man. Shout out to hashtag high heat records, man. Uh, talk Hell about yeah. uh, number number 12, Range Rovers, real quick. So um, a good song. I don't know if you get the news, but in Toronto, in the past year or two, the big one of the biggest things is carjackings. Mm. It's gone up exponentially, you know. Yeah. If I can get on my ti and use a big word, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just rose. You don't be a comedian. <laughs> so if I start off the line, you know our hockey team. The Toronto Maple Leafs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even one of the players got got their car jacked, you know. Like, and it was a Range Rover. Yeah. So that's how this song came about. It's reflecting what's going on up here because you know hip hop is a reflection of the street and the time and what's going on. You get me? Yeah. So I this, this is a direct reflection of what's going on in Toronto, like right now. Like people be dragging women and kids out the car and taking people's shit, you know? So that's what this joint is about. I apologize for this recording, man. We got less than a minute, man. You know, th we had 13 with Ghetto Use Rise and uh, number and 14, One Bob, man. Both hey, make sure y'all check out part two, baby. We got part two dropping just now. Just give y'all yeah. shout outs, man. What's y'all favorite songs? And just give us some shout outs and what's, you know what I'm saying, whatever y'all want to do real quick. Yeah. Oh, my favorite song is The Music Sounds Better With You. That's my favorite song of all time. Unfortunately, it didn't make the album cut. We couldn't clear the sample, but uh, <laughs> great record, man. But in all seriously, in all seriousness, man, it was an honor to be able to cook up with the big homie. That like uh, Falcon is like my big brother in real life. You know, he motivates me to become a better person. 